What's up, guys? Sleepy T and the fan back. Well, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Remember, I need them subscriptions. So I'm going to start off today with another story time. Story time part five? Four? I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out. So that being said, man, I like to uh, talk about my childhood story times, man. Because it'd be some funny times. But today, I'm going to hit y'all with one. It's my little brother, Randy. Y'all all know I done told you about him. He crazy. See, me and my two younger brothers from uh, down here, we grew up with my aunt and my uncle. You know what I'm saying? Doris and Walt Lee. And I'm going to tell you some stories about them, too. Uh, matter of fact, my aunt Doris is in the story. So you're going to hear about her. My uncle Walt Lee and my aunt Doris, they are funny. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, me and my brothers, we grew up there. Well, one day my little brother Randy's like, yo, Uncle Wally, can we go to the flea market? Please, please, please. You know, he used to love going to flea markets and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's he's weird, like an old soul or something. You know what I mean? And then one day my uncle was just like, nah, I ain't taking you nowhere. You gonna sit your ass in there about it? Now, when my uncle get mad, you cannot understand nothing he say. I'm telling you, you can't understand nothing he say. So Randy was like, can you take me to the flea market, please? My uncle's like, no. You ain't been listening. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So then my uncle's like, I'm going to the garden. He was like, my uncle was like, uh, he told us he's going to the garden or whatever. So he's walking down to the garden. My little brother is pissed. He's like, oh, I hate Uncle Wally. He get on my nerve. He don't never want to take me nowhere. You know, he trippy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm on, I'm on the back porch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my Uncle Wiley, he's in a garden. The garden's like 50 yards away or something like that. Or maybe more on the edge of the woods on his property. You know what I mean? I mean, I ain't going to say that. But yeah, it, it might be like a half acre or something like that. But anyway, he was down there guarding, guarding, telling in the little garden or whatever. And I see my brother come outside. He went, he first he went inside, he got a potato. That motherfucker was like this big. <laughs> and in my mind, I was I was already saying, you already know what I be saying. I told myself, I was like, he gonna hit, if he come out here and hit him in the head with that potato, that would be some funny shit. Well, my brother, he's pissed. So he comes outside with that big ass potato. He looks at my uncle, he's looking down there, he's like, oh man, he get on my nerve. He was like, he looked around. <laughs> he looked around, he said, he took that mug, foo, he chunked it. We on the back porch. He chunked that mug all the way down to the garden. That junk soared through the hair. My uncle, my uncle bent up, he looked up. They got that potato was like, Boom! It hit his head so fucking hard, it dust flew everywhere. The motherfucking potato splattered on his head. <laughs> and it was like, ah! Oh! Oh! What do I have on my Oh! Boy, when I was, it, I laughed so hard, I fell off the porch there. I almost fell off the porch, man. I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> my uncle had potato mash. He made mashed potatoes on this nigga head. Cause he was. <laughs> the potato smacked his head so hard. It left like a little pile of mashed potatoes on his head. But I'll tell you the potato just busting on it. It was funny. Shouts out to Randy. I love you bro. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna hit you another one. It's my aunt Doris. All right. She stay toe up on that liquor, boy. I'm telling you, she be the life of the party, cuz for real. You know, she was turnt one day, you know what I mean? You know, we had a kerosene heater, like gas. We had gas heater. We had to put gas and stuff in the kerosene. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, we was sleep. You know what I'm saying? We was sleep all night, ain't Doris turn. Hey! I'm talking like turned up, nigga. Bro, we was sleep. We went, we all we fuck around, passed out. You know what I'm saying? We thinking everybody sleep. I woke up choking. <coughs> you 
You know what I'm saying? Ugh, 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 ugh. I couldn't breathe and shit. Oh, I cracked my eye open. Nigga, there was smoke all in the house, nigga. I'm like, ooh, I'm choking. I get up. I run in the living room. This nigga ain't Dars. Done fell over the heater. This lady. <laughs> she gonna look up at me. Talk about. Why the hell you push me, nigga? <laughs> I looked at her. I was like, what the hell you doing in the floor? I ain't push you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went to the bathroom. Everybody had black shit all in their nose, bro. It was just caked in our noses. We had black stuff around our eyes. It was crazy. We looked like human raccoons up in there. The, the smoke was so thick. I come in there, she laid off, she done knocked over the uh, gas heater and all that smoke rolling, black smoke. Gonna look at me, talk about, why the fuck you push me, nigga? Oh, some real shit, she really said that to me. You know what I'm saying? So I helped her up. I was like, no, I was like, push you, man. Everybody woke up like, what the hell? Is the house on fire? Fuck, why they like, what the hell going on over here? What the fuck the house on fire? God damn. Damn, darling. <laughs> Oh man, it was funny as hell. Yeah, I'd never get there. There was some good times, man. When me and my brothers was together, when all three of us is together, stupid stuff happens all day. All day long. When all three of us are together, I swear. That being said, I'm gonna tell you another crazy one. My mom. All right, one day. Her and my aunt, they go out drinking with my mom and her boyfriend, whatever. You know, they get toe up. I'm talking about they toe up from the flow up. At the time, I was like, I was like 16. I done had my own apartment and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Done had my own apartment. I'm still in high school and stuff. Well, anyway, my mom, my mom and uh, her boyfriend and my aunt pulls up. <clears throat> they getting out turn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they loud as shit. I'll go outside to see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Because I came up there to visit my mom and them. And they wasn't even home. They just told me to go in there and wait for them, so I just waited. And they pulls up, you know what I'm saying? You know, and they, uh, they get out the car or whatever. And uh, my mom's like, she drunk as all get out. They walking about 10 steps. She done hit the ground. Boom! He looks up. She says, Shirley, why the fuck you push me, bitch? I know that was your ass over there, ho. <laughs> and, what made, and what made it so funny, Shirley was still at the car. So how could she push you? You know what I'm saying? She was at the car. It was so damn funny. But my mama swore up and down. She got pushed. She tripped over a rock, though. It was funny. I'm going to tell you nothing about my mom. Well, scratch that. I'm going to say that one for another time. All right, my cousin Flip. All right, one day, we was at uh, we was at work at the lumber yard. I used to work there, but you know, I encountered so much racism. You know what I mean? So I had to quit that, man. I was there for like four years, almost five years. They were treating me like crap, man, crap, crap. But anyway, back to the story. All right, we uh, we was working at a lumber yard. We had to pull the lumber yard, uh, the lumber off the line and stack them in the pallets. Like, I got the big ones. You know what I'm saying? They go from 14 foot, 12 foot, 8 foot, 7 foot, 6 foot, all kinds of sizes. Well, I got all the 12, 14 foots. And they be like the big cans. be like 6 inches thick and stuff like that. Well, anyways, I, I start throwing wood chips. I start busting them in the head, my, like my cousin flipping them. And my cousin George, Peter, he worked there. I was busting them in the head with wood chips. You, pew, pew, pew. Tagging their heads up. <laughs> These niggas looking around like, cause you know, we were spread out. It's like, a, it's a big long building. We, I'm talking about, it's pretty, it's a pretty good size. You could throw footballs in that thing a distance. But yeah, that nigga Petey, he made a dirt ball out of some sawdust, mud and water. I'm talking like it's nasty. Stunt, he made a dirt ball out of that shit. A nice size one. He runs up on Flip. Flip smoking that cigarette. He hitting it. He about to throw a damn uh, a block at this guy named Debo. He about to throw one at him. 
Peter runs up. Ball in his hand, that dirt ball in his hand. Flip open his mouth like, hey. He yelling, hey, he about to throw something. My cousin Petey comes, shoved the dirt ball right in his mouth. Boom, he like, ah. He threw that bitch right in his mouth. I'm like, ooh, oh shit, nigga. Boy, almost got down. <laughs> I answer, I just said, ah! You know how I be doing them laughs. I was screaming, boy. You know what I'm saying? But oh yeah, anyway, I got another story for y'all about Flip. Him and my cousin Petey. We up there chilling, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, chilling. I don't know what it is with alcohol. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is about alcohol, but when them new when them two niggas drink some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, friend. Let me start by saying this. You know how we drink alcohol, make you want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you relax. This and that. You just want to chill. You know what I'm saying? Look at a movie or some shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Talk to your friends. Not these niggas. They hit that liquor bottle. These niggas doing push ups. <laughs> I'm talking like, we ain't doing nothing. We sitting there writing music or something. It could be anything. We sitting there writing music. They hit a liquor bottle. These motherfuckers doing a workout regimen. <laughs> Stop and take your shots. I swear to God, you can't have no kind of liquor around them. When they together, I swear to God, they work. They start. They start working out. I'm like, yo, flip. I was like, what you got over there? He said, I got some shine, nigga. I got some shine, baby. I got some shine. So I was like, what the hell you doing with some shine, bro? We just. Nah, you, you want some cuz? I was like, nigga, you know I don't drink like that, man. I don't even drink like that no more. I might quit drinking, bro. He's like, shit, just take a little take a little sip right there and let your rhymes flow, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I done told that nigga, shut up. He said, well, shit, I'm about to hit some. I'm about to get some of this right here. There's some of this shine. It's shine good, bro. It's the peach, bro. You don't want none. I was like, hell no. I don't want no moonshine, nigga. Here come PDA. Yeah. Nigga, let me get some, bro. What that liquor? Let me get some, bro. Come here. So these niggas take a shot. They make the little faces. Ah. I'm just sitting there like, ooh, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm laughing. 10 minutes go by. They're like, oh, shit. <sighs> How big your chest is, bro? These niggas start talking about chest and shit. I'm like, oh, God. So man, hold on, man. Y'all, y'all better not be on no crazy shit today, boy. Come on, man. What's going on? And this, this for I knew they be. This for I knew what lick a dude to them two niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, they like, yeah, man. I want to get a chest like Tim. I'm looking at him like, why I want a chest like my folks? Like, bro, you big, bro. You be lifting heavy shit. Bro, shit. We all right. I changed the subject. You know what I'm saying? I said, nigga, what you need to be doing. It's fixing that damn hairline. Cause that shit look like it rolled up and parked anywhere. <laughs> These niggas take a second shot. Down it. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh yeah, I done stepped outside, got some air pee, you know what I'm saying? Use the bathroom, came back to the building. We in there we writing and shit. I come back. These niggas doing push ups. Lifting weights. <laughs> I was like, Flip, get your ass out. What you doing? I know what y'all niggas doing, bro. I said, normal niggas sitting down when they drink. They don't they don't be doing push-ups in the workout, Reggie. What the hell going on? What you got in that drink? Some go hard, nigga? Bro, I swear to God, these niggas, they was working out, bro. Now, the second time, we was in a whole nother setting. Hold somebody else's house. These niggas hit that liquor bottle. First shot, start talking about chess. Oh, bro, man. Oh, I'm like, oh, shit. Here we go again. Here we go. Oh, what? Nigga, you crazy. Ain't nobody on no shit, man. I ain't about to do nothing. Bro. This nigga flip. He picks up a log, starts squatting. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I feel the burn. I feel the burn. I said, oh, damn. Why you pick that log up? Here we go. What I say, they went they went right over there five minutes later, got the second shot. These niggas doing push-ups. 
They doing dips. They doing log ups with the with the little log he done picked up. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, man, we got some characters in our family, man. Straight up. I just thought I'd let y'all let y'all hear a little story time today before we get our day started. And you know, I'm gonna get a little kick clips of that too, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I need them subscriptions. Until next time, peace. I'm out.